I'm Mike Sullivan, and today we'll answer a question from a viewer. He's got a short game question about what his club face should be doing during his backswing. So we've got a question from a student here. This is, this is from Phil P. And he wants to know, he says, hey Mike, uh, in the short game, which would be shots of 100 yards and under, but not putting, when do you stop opening the club face? We're gonna take a look at that right now. Okay, Phil, that is a, that, that's a really great question. And this is something that comes up a lot. So the quick and easy answer is, you really don't, you, you shouldn't have to think too much about how much you're opening the club face on the way back in, in these short shots, or really in any shot. And let me talk about why. Hopefully you can get a look at this. Uh, if I were to just have the, the club in the playing position here, and I'm gonna hold on to the, the end of the club, and I'm gonna try to make sure that the, the end of the club does not change position as I start to, as I turn back here. Notice that if I just keep the club in the same place and just let this swing naturally, like a, like a pendulum, because it's on a tilted plane, when this club gets to the point where it's parallel to the ground and also parallel to the target line, roughly, I can't tell exactly because I'm, I'm a human over here, but see how the club face is pointing well to the right of the target. You can, you can see that club face is pointing out over here. So if we don't do anything special, if we don't do anything unnatural or inefficient, we're going to end up in a position where the club face is going to open up all by itself relative to the target line. Now, there are situations where somebody can make a backswing and they can have the club face, it's a little bit open to the target line, but this is probably closed relative to me, meaning I'm making a move with my hands to encourage a closed club face coming through, or I can make a move with my hands to encourage an open club face coming back. I don't really think it's a good idea to monkey around with that too much, and here's the reason why. One of the big problems that people have with these short shots are shanks. And that happens really easily when people control the club with their hands. We've done other videos about this and talked about this, but when somebody is trying to open the club face, they tend to get things going with their hands a lot, and they end up getting the club in a position where it gets behind them and gets off plane. Then to get back to the ball, it's really easy to come back to the ball and catch the ball with the hosel of the club. And as the, as the clubs get longer, the swing gets bigger, it's really easy to get in a situation where we make an out to in over the top type of a move. So really to answer your question here, Phil, you really shouldn't have to focus too much on how much the club opens coming back or for how long in your swing the club is gonna open. If you just make a move that starts your golf swing with your shoulders, and your golf swing is all about turning shoulders back and then turning through, your club face is gonna open up pretty much the way we want it to, and it's gonna close pretty much the way that we want it to. Of course, some people overdo things a little bit one way or the other, and then to get corrected, they may have to feel they're doing the opposite. So what I mean by that is somebody who actually counter rotates their hands a little bit, keeping the club shut coming back, because they're trying to keep the club square to the target line, they may end up having to feel that they're allowing their hands to rotate open a little bit. But to, hopefully I'm answering your question the right way. This is something that for the most part we don't need to think about. We have little kids and big kids and people who are beginning golfers that don't think about it too much and they do really, really great, they do really well. So just be natural, we wanna be efficient, all of our shots, even our pitch shots, are gonna about turning the shoulders back, turning them through, and your club face will pretty much open as much as we need it to and then close as much as we need it to.